two, one. Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis looking at the Word of God. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, we continue or we conclude our series on expect delays. A delay is not a denial, but when you're trying to get somewhere, please know that there will be some delays. Don't trip out. Expect them. Jairus, we've been talking about him all week, had some delays. He's trying to get to his house with Jesus because his daughter is at the point of death. And if Jesus can get there, he can heal her. But there's a delay. There's a crowd between Jesus, Jairus, and his house. There's a woman who's been sick, and uh, she gets her healing. And in the process of getting her healing, there is a delay that is a costly delay because messengers come to Jairus and Jesus and say, look, don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter is dead. But Jesus says, keep on believing. Don't lose your hope. Don't be afraid. Keep on believing. And when you get new bad news, you keep on believing. Nothing is irreversible with God. Well, we are told he goes to the house and there's these professional mourners who are wailing and crying. And Jesus asks, why are you doing this? She's not dead. She's asleep. And they laugh at Jesus. Look at what it says in verse 40. They started making fun of him. So he put them out. Some folk have got to go. He put them out. If you're going to get your blessing, some folk have got to go. Took the child's father and mother and his three disciples and went into the room where the child was laying. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kumi, which means little girl, I tell you, get up. She got up at once and started walking around. She was 12 years old. When this happened, they were completely amazed. I'm sure they were. But Jesus gave strict orders not to tell anyone. And he said, give her something to eat. Now, this is what the point I want you to ponder. Here's the point. Here's the point to ponder. The point to ponder is simply this is that God will never do for us what we can do for ourselves. Or put it another way, without God, I cannot. But without me, God will not. There's a role for God to play in your blessing, but there's a role for you to play also. Because what does Jesus do that Jairus and Mrs. Jairus cannot do? And that is they can't bring a dead person back to life. They can't bring the little girl back to life. Only Jesus can do that. And he does it. But notice what the last verse says that Jesus told them to do. The last verse in this story says this. Verse 43, but Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone. He said, give her something to eat. Now, surely if Jesus can raise her from the dead, Jesus can give her something to eat. But Jesus does what Jesus can do. And then he says to Jairus, I'm not going to do for you what you can do for yourself. You give her something to eat because that's humanly possible. Only raising the dead is God possible. But giving her something to eat is human possible. Human possible. And the fact that they say give her something to eat, what does that prove? That proves she has an appetite. That means she's not only alive, but she's healthy because one of the signs that you are alive is what you have an appetite for, that you want something to eat. And Jesus says, don't tell anyone. Why? Well, he doesn't want anyone to know because that's going to create jealousy. And once people, the other leaders find out what Jesus is doing, they're going to come after Jesus and it's not his time yet to die. So he says, don't tell anyone what I've done for you. And that's a good practice. You don't always have to tell everybody some sacred secrets that exist between amen, you and God. Now, this is what I want you to close with as, as we close. We've seen this story about expect delays, and we've seen that delays are not denials, and that Jesus brings Jairus' daughter back to life. And she represents, listen to me, the first of three people whom Jesus is going to bring back to life who are dead. Can you name the other two? Well, let's look at it. He brings, first of all, a young girl, Jairus' daughter. And then secondly, he brings a young or a teenager, 
the, the son of the widow of Nain. And then thirdly, he brings back to life Lazarus, who was a grown man. So look at the progression. Jairus' daughter was a little girl. The woman at Nain's son was a teenager. And Lazarus was a grown man. You know, I think God is trying to say to us that regardless of what stage of life you are in, whether you're a teenager or a young child like Jairus' daughter or a teenager like the widow's son of Nain or a grown adult like Lazarus in all the stages and phases of life, if you let God, God can bless you. God can bless you when you're a child. God can bless you when you're, when you're a teenager. And God can bless you when you're an adult. And the way you receive the blessing, all three who got their miracle got it because they had faith in God. Even when things looked their worst, they had faith. And when things looked their worst, have faith in God. There will be some delays in life. You're trying to get some blessing. There will be some delays, but there's never any denials. And nothing, regardless of how bad it is, is beyond God's power. And you will never get to the point in your life where you're so alone that you are not the recipient of God's care. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful story of Jarius who had some delays, and we've had some delays also. But don't let us get weary in well-doing, for we shall reap if we faint not. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. If you don't have a church home, I'd like to extend an invitation to you to become a digital disciple. Contact us here at St. Stephen Church, New Start at ssclive.org, and we will get back with you. This is Saturday. Of course, tomorrow is the Lord's Day. I've got a special word I'd like to share with you. So I hope you will join in and be with us on SSC Live TV for our online worship that begins, well, really begins at 9 o'clock with the pre-worship experience with Sister Crystal Goodner Spratt, and then the 930 worship service in which I've got a word from the Word of God to share with you. So I hope you'll be with us tomorrow and invite someone to join you also. Well, this has been a great week. It's good to be back. I hope you've been blessed this week. I know I've been blessed just looking at the word of God with you. So until we come together for worship tomorrow, uh, don't forget that during COVID-19 to stay safe, stay sane, and never forget that God is in control. Peace and blessings. I'll see you in worship tomorrow.